What's up everybody? If you're still wondering how to get that Dutch accent, guess what? Here's an extended version of that TikTok video. If you don't know which TikTok video I'm talking about, maybe you want to take a look at this. I was not expecting this one, but here we go. Are you an American or a British person or an Australian or a South African, for example? In Amsterdam, you think, my goodness, what's that? That fresh, funky accent. I want to speak just like that. Here you go. Anything you know about spacious round vowels, kill it. Flatten the vowels so they're very, very flat in Dutch. Next, really toughen up that T so it's not heart or heart or hart. It's heart. Like my heart is hurting because my Heineken is warm. Then make sure you roll the R so it's not a revolving door or a revolving door or a revolving door. It's revolving door. The R is either in the throat or it's in the front of the mouth. And lastly, swap out the TH, the TH, for a T or a D, like there goes my mother. So I thought it might be fun to extend what I've been doing on TikTok and show you guys some more tips, some more in-depth knowledge, basically. Drop some of those gems on you, baby. Because it's comedy first, education second, and personal validation third. So let's jump right in. I've got five major tips for you guys on how to get that fresh, funky Dutch accent that you might want to hear and use when you are in the Netherlands, okay? Number one, flatten the vowels. Anything you know about spacious round vowels, kill it. Like I've said before, the Dutch do not like round vowels, okay? It is all very flat, okay? That roundness in American English, and this is round speech, by the way. Some of you have been like, how do I speak round? Well, this is how you speak round. And we'll touch on this later in a video of how to get rid of your native accent. If you want to clear up your English a little bit, we got another video coming. So just remember, if you want to get those Dutch vowel sounds, just think of this, all very flat, okay? The A and all becomes more of an O, like old, all, very flat. The A in a word like flat becomes E, so it's very flat. Number two, hard consonants. You want to toughen up those T's, those K's, those P's. There's no plosives at all, baby. Dutch people don't like plosives. They don't have time for plosives. It's all very hard, okay? Like I said, my heart is hurting because my Heineken is warm, yeah? The D at the end of a word like good becomes a T, and the O-O sound, the U uh, in good becomes O. So it's all very good. See how we're building? You see how we're doing this? We're building on stuff. We're laying bricks one at a time. We're laying the foundation, and we'll get you there so you can sound like a real Dutchie. The W is a lot more present in Dutch than it is in English, okay? So in English, you've got the what, why, why are we here? It's a very soft, elegant W. In Dutch, the W is made by putting the front teeth against the bottom lip. So it's what are we doing here? And you want to roll the R, whether it's in the back of the throat, like my name Rogier, or in the front of the mouth, like my mother pronounces my name Rogier. However, that rolling R is only at the beginning of a word, like rot, red, or in the middle of a word, but the R is only hard in the middle of a word if it's followed up by a vowel. So for example, the word beren, bears, it's E-R-E, -E, eren to honor, E-R-E -E again. It's a softer, rounder R, that cucker error that we say in Dutch, if it's a consonant. So for example, ferf, paint, it's an R. And of course, at the end of a word, or at the end of a name, like my name, Rogier, you end the word on a soft, round R. Number three, turn your S's into SH's. So you're not speaking all smooth, you're speaking all schmoot, okay? And don't forget that the TH becomes a T or a D, like, there goes my mother! And that is actually number four, the TH, don't do it. There's no th, 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 th doesn't exist in Dutch. It's just a T or a D. That's it. So you could say that group of three over there is a thirsty bunch. In Dutch, however, you would say that group of three over there is a thirsty bunch. You get it? Number five, the hard G. Now I know not all Dutchies speak with a hard G. It's only the people above the rivers. However, it's a an identifier, a staple in the Dutch language, the, the guttural G, right? In Rogier. I've got like that trifecta, the hard 
hard rolling R, the G, and the soft round R. If you're having trouble producing that G, just pretend you're falling asleep and you're about to snore like <sighs> What are we doing here? Why am I here? Where is my wife? You're sounding a lot more Dutch already. And here's a little bonus for you because I'm the giving kind. The word idea and especially that E-A diphthong. There's no e a in Dutch. It's e day or I-D, right? Like, so you could say, Do you think it is a good ID to bring my ID to the club today? And you as a non-Dutchie would tell your friend, yeah. So there you go, some basic tips on how to get that Dutch accent. If you want to learn more about how to get an accent, how to get rid of an accent, how to learn a new crazy accent, if you want to see how I go through my process, just hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, baby, because you know it's all about staying on top of things, you know what I mean? And of course, if you have any questions, just drop them below in the comments. This is a community. It's a safe space. Namaste.